What's up, Internet? Our hobby isn't the greatest for the environment. All of our new upgrades eventually become old things that we toss out to become e-waste that's difficult to recycle. On a personal level, not all techies are friendly, some are quite toxic. See the video above. But I'm here to tell you, dear viewer, yes, ikaw, yung mahilig sa PC, yung mahilig sa tech, you can make the world a better place with these five concrete steps. Pero bago nun, it would make my world a better place if you support our sponsor. Whether your PC is brand new or an old war machine, siguro malapit siya sa puso mo. But no matter how careful you are, sometimes accidents happen. Or sometimes it's not your fault. Nagkalindol, baha, tumutulo yung condo unit sa taas ng unit mo. Wala kang control sa mga bagay na yan, but they can damage your devices. The worst is when it is someone's fault and your things are stolen. Buti na lang, it's easy to have peace of mind for your devices with ProTech Computer Insurance from CocoGen. If your desktop or laptop is damaged with ProTech Insurance, you are assured you will have the funds needed to get it repaired or replaced. The insurance covers a wide series of unfortunate events. From fire and lightning, to accidental damage, to theft, typhoon and flood damage, broad water damage, the list goes on. And the cost is very reasonable, as low as 1,000 pesos for a desktop and 1,500 for a laptop, and that's for a whole year already. You can apply for ProTech Computer Insurance at any CocoGen branch or inquire via the phone or email. Details in the video description. Tip 1 is use Ecosia, which is a free-to-use search engine whose income is not used to taking over the planet, sub Google, but they use their income to plant trees. They have a handy widget which tracks how many searches you do and for around every 45th search, a tree is planted. Simply by searching with Ecosia, you plant more trees and that's always a good thing. Trees help rejuvenate the ecosystem, they suck up CO2, they're a renewable resource. You basically can't go wrong if you're planting a tree. But I can hear the complaints already, I'm a power user, I need to know my searches are accurate, what technology does this unknown search engine use? Actually, Ecosia uses the same technology as Bing, they license it from Microsoft. So your searches are still being powered by the tech of a billion dollar tech company. And yes, Bing Tech isn't as good as Google search but to be honest a lot of my searches are very superficial I'm looking up a product I need to know if this motherboard has RGB headers or ARGB headers I need to know if this case can fit this AIO all of those things can be found on the brand's website so I just need to find the specific page and Ecosia is good enough for all of those superficial searches that I need so it's win-win I find what I'm looking for and trees get planted cell phone OnePlus 5T Amazon Kindle for reading, Nexus tablet for tablety things that I need to do, and my primary graphics card for when brands are not lending me a nicer graphics card. What am I getting at? All of these things that I use basically every day are all second hand. Some other things that I use quite regularly, my Switch, my PS4, the phone that I'm using to shoot this video, the iPad I'm using to monitor that recording, it's my HTC Vive. All of these things are second hand and that's tip number two, buy second hand. We're always bombarded with the message that we need to upgrade. Every six months, palitan na natin yung phone natin. Every year, oy, may bagong graphics card. But really, a lot of the time, you don't need to upgrade. And this is weird coming from me that runs a business that wants you to buy new things. But a lot of the time, you don't need to upgrade, and if you do, you don't need to buy brand new. Buying secondhand takes a bit more time because you want to make sure that the product is legit and the seller is legit. It's also a bit riskier in terms of warranty, but as you can see by the majority of the things I use, secondhand can work out a lot of the time and it's much easier on the wallet. On a personal level, I also like thinking that it also makes you feel good to know that you're not brainwashed, that you can, that you haven't been sucked in by the message of everyone telling you bye, bye, bye. Secondhand works out on so many levels. It reduces the consumption of resources, it's good for the wallet, and it's good for the soul. Tip three might surprise you, live your life like a gamer. Not the drive-by, road rage, FPS kind of gamer, but the gamer that chooses not to do evil. Thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people have played the Mass Effect trilogy, and throughout those games, you can choose between two different actions, Paragon to do good or Renegade to do evil. And the developers revealed last year that 92% of people chose the Paragon path. 92%! There's no downside to using Renegade. The game doesn't penalize you for choosing evil. 
And in fact, sometimes it's the most direct way to get what you need. Sir, I recommend. Wala kasi ng alam sa computer. Gusto ko lang maglaro ng Dota 2 at Valorant. Ano bang GPU kailangan yan? Ito kailangan mo. 2080 Ti. Sobrang demanding kasi ng Dota 2 at Valorant. Eh. Ito, good price na para sa iyo, ah. 80,000. <gasps> Mahal. Pero sige, may naipon naman ako para sa tuition. Hindi naman siguro mahalaga yung tuition na yan. Ah, oh, tuition! Hindi kailangan yan! Imagine if we took how we actually acted in games into the real world. 92% chose the Paragon path. Hopefully, us gamers can take that good intentions into the real world. And so tip number three can be boiled down to four letters. WWSD. What would Shepard do? Another famous fictional do-gooder brings us to tip four, and it was Spider-Man's Uncle Ben which said that With great power comes great responsibility. You, my dear viewer, have a great power. It might not be sticking to walls or jumping from buildings, but that great power is up here in your head. You have tech knowledge, and not a lot of people have that. Take that knowledge and share it. Share it freely, share it gladly. I know nakakainis when non-techies come up and ask really basic questions. I have friends who ask me, Anton, paano mo palitan yung password sa website na to? Pambihirang patis. 2021 na tayo, hindi ko pa rin marunong magpalit ng password sa website. <sighs> but when I get those kind of questions, I really just take a deep breath and you know, it for us it's easy. It's it's easy to understand like website UI, hardware issues and things like that. We like researching arcane things like, oh, this driver update from version 1.2 is actually better than the driver update from 1.54b because it changed the timing settings of something something memory and something something blah 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 jargon. And we like that stuff, but for a lot of people that just flies over their heads. So tip four is to use your power and give it away. It will make a big difference to the people around you Many things in life are confusing, but tech doesn't need to be one of them if techies share their knowledge and they share it freely and they share it gladly. I've saved the best tip for last. Tip 5 is subscribe to this YouTube channel. Smash that subscribe button. Ha? Huh? Anong joke lang? De, nasa script eh. T seryoso ako nung dinigay ko yun. T subscribe to this channel. Tila, teka, wag mo patayin yung camera. Thanks for watching internet and special thanks to our top fans Christian Espinosa, John Ruben Ocha, ITX Addict, Ian Meru, Richard Onkinko, Leah Magnaye, and Dom H. Maraming maraming salamat po. But <laughs> Jesus Christ. A, a bit lighter, a bit lighter. Ah. Okay, okay, sige, sige. Ah, ito kailangan mo. 2080 Ti. Kasi so... Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, shit. That was a good take, sana. Well, I know. Ah.